feel about the uh, overall effectiveness of the uh, Connecticut Caribbean World Chamber of Commerce in the day-to-day -day business lives of everyday people in the state? With the community, it helps um, bridge the government and the community. A lot of times, the people don't have a say, so it helps connect everyone. Chambers are designed to promote, protect, and preserve the interest of business, and any chamber actually has to have that goal. Well, we're working very hard right now to promote businesses. There are lots of small businesses in St. Lucia, which can definitely benefit from becoming more involved in the world market, and so we think this is a perfect opportunity to have those small businesses form a link with the Caribbean World Chamber of Commerce here in Connecticut and be able to promote the items that they produce. It's bringing people like representative from some uh, local banks here and we have representatives actually from uh, foreign missions like from St. Lucia uh, and other Caribbean islands and to bring us together and make sure that the products that can be sold from and imported or exported to other countries that that flow is happening and then that the credit uh, and the investment capital is getting uh, to these businesses so they can grow. Um, it's very, very, very important, especially in our community, because we have a lot of people that have started businesses and they do not know where to turn for help. It's not about the individual, it's not about an individual chamber, but I believe if you can do an all-inclusive embracing, what is the power that we have as not just one chamber, but what can we do collectively? What can we do with the individual businesses, not just saying my business can prosper, but putting my business and linking up with other businesses, what can we do as one entity? Okay. And uh, what would your own personal ambitions be for the Caribbean World Chamber of Commerce in Connecticut, insofar as your own personal involvement? Uh, personally, I would love to have more young people on board for, um, for the networking aspect, because there's so many small businesses um, coming up with people 30 important for us to be in the import export business, uh, especially with Bridgeport going the way it's going to be. I think um, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be hopefully changing for the better. And I think that uh, Citibank could actually benefit in the sense of not only being able to um, be a leader in the lending part, in the lending piece, which is very important for the export import business, but also for um, benefiting the community. Okay. And what vision do you have uh, in terms of partnering with the Caribbean World Chamber of Commerce? Well, I'll be honest with you, it's, um, it's something that's been a, an ongoing process for us. Um, we have our relationship manager who is a little bit, uh, deals with much higher grossing uh, companies. We've been trying to get him more involved uh, in that department. And he's very interested in growing more roots here in the Bridgeport area, um, especially in the fact that uh, you know, we can definitely help as much as we can. Sure. Thanks. Respect the city, you know. There's some things that, that maybe they're not proud of. with the larger countries and, and larger corporations, you know, which have a lot of money and, and uh, various entities behind them. So I think that if the World Chamber of Commerce can really take these small businesses by the hand and help them to become more competitive with the world market, that's really the greatest need that we have right now. Yes, there's a lot of hurdles um, for us as Caribbean vendors and Caribbean business owner because some of the rules that are here we didn't apply to us as business owner back home. So what the Caribbean Chamber of Commerce is trying to do right now is to bridge the gap that you will know the do's and the don'ts in order to grow your business. You know, that business plan thing is critical. You have to have a business plan. And what a business plan is, and some of us see it as uh, kind of daunting, the business plan says on paper how well you've thought out what it is that you're going to do. Um, it gives someone who wants to help you the logistics and, and look at it and say, can this really happen? You know, is it a realistic goal for the um, the amount of money that you're going to lay out. The other thing is obviously 
the amount of money that it takes to start that business up. You know, uh, especially in this economy, it's tough for small, uh, small business to get money. Uh, the banks have tied it up, and we're living in a time now where the um, the government doesn't want to reach out and help the um, small business as much as it can because through them, the uh, money's been locked down. So, as a small business owner, what you have to do is be creative, and you have to figure out your own uh, places of funding. Places like Citibank, which are large corporations, are actually have a pretty good initiative to help small business. I think that uh, right now, uh, Citibank is taking the proper steps to, like, for example, with our small business lending. Um, we are one of the few banks that make it very easy for our small business to be able to borrow. Uh, say, for example, we would take a, um, a three months bank statements for up to a line of credit of about two hundred forty nine thousand or two hundred fifty thousand, um, and base it off of the fact of your two years' experience. So basically, we're looking at the fact that if you have survived the last two years of the economic downturn, uh, we're betting the fact that you know what, when the economy does start coming back, you're going to be, um, you know, growing, and we want to be there with you. Mm -hmm. And what is your uh, final end game for the Caribbean Chamber of Commerce in the state and beyond? To be honest with you, I'm not, we're really not looking at an end game because it's a legacy that we want to pass on to the upcoming Caribbean kids that are in this country that they could have something to hold on to and pursue this dream that as Caribbean native, we can talk about our issues, we can talk about our goals, we can talk about our business, we can talk about our products and services and implement some of these things with the American culture to have a better society. I'm proud to say that, yes, I am Jamaican. Thank you.